Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going thrift slash antique shopping again. I have been watching so many like home decor tour, home decor, home tours, <laughs> and just really been like so absorbing so much home content lately. It's given me the itch. Now I already go antique shopping and thrift shopping all the time, but this has really given me an itch to wanna go out and find just some stuff that I've seen that I just really love and align with and try to find some more unique items that are specific to my home and my decor. And I don't know, I just, I have an itch. So we're gonna go and see what we can find. Today I'm going to, this one's a new uh, antique store I've never been to. It's called Superstition Grand Antique Mall. I'll put the locations of where I'm at on the screen when I go. I plan on going to three different ones today if I have enough time. I'm just looking for some unique items, maybe a tapestry, maybe, I really kind of want a marble pedestal. I've been looking for one for a while. I found a new one on CB2, kind of more of like a drink table actually, but it looks gorgeous. I'm looking for some stuff, always looking for marble, always looking for artwork, always looking for tapestries, just things that really help elevate my home, make it feel collected, make it feel designed, and really capture that collected feel that I believe truly makes a home stand out. So let's get in here. Let's see what they have. This is such a cool, unique piece right here. I like this. Look at this old recipe box. It's 50% off. I love it. I have two, so I don't need another one, but I do love that one. This whole vendor section is 50% off, so I'm taking a good look through here. They have these small pewter dishes. I like those too. I found the most beautiful blanket rack, but it's not for sale. But look at this. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I love it so much. What do you think about this piece? $25, look how cute. These are beautiful. I ran across, I was coming to a second antique store and I saw that there was a flea market going on. Those are so pretty. Another little basket, $7. That's so darling. That is so cute. This light fixture is so cool. 120 I love that. I'd actually put that in like a living room or something just on the wall as a sconce. So pretty. This tray is super unique. Wood tray. $29. Look at the detail. That's super cool. Southern living home. <laughs> okay, $29. Did I say that? I don't know why, but for some reason I like this guy. <laughs> this is really neat. How much is this? $9. It's really cute. Look at how pretty this floral frog is. $20 brass. I've never seen one like this. That's really cool. I actually love these old clocks. This one's $20. Obviously it doesn't work, but there's just something so charming about it. I love it. This basket's super cool. $50, look at that. That's gorgeous. That's so pretty. I love this little bench or settee or however you call these. This one's really cool. I think I would probably get it reupholstered. $149. I love that. If you had like a pretty little entryway. How cool. This antique pine hutch is gorgeous. It's marked down from $1,600 to $1,200. Oh, look at the patina. It's just so beautiful. Look, I found another 
art piece of the Ark. This one's $250 though, but look at how beautiful that is. It's like over by all the shopping though, so a different viewpoint, but uh, so good. Ooh, this basket's pretty too. $20. What is my deal with baskets lately? I don't know, but I love them. These little bud vases are beautiful too, $22 each. I love those. I've been into a little bit of a sparkle lately. I like that antique brass scale from England, $225. Oh, that's gorgeous. This mirror's pretty cool with the bamboo. Look at that. That's pretty. And rattan and bamboo. I like that for like a guest bedroom. Mmm, pretty, pretty, pretty. This jug is cool to $50. Very different than anything I've seen. I like that. I also really like these chairs. They're $75. Those are really cool. This old ice chest is $39. It's so cool. I like that. How neat. I love these chairs. They're $35 each. I love them. I absolutely love these. This chest is super cool too. $2,200 though. Not today, but I love it. Okay, that picture up there, that one, I love. I love it. I love it. I can't see how much the price is though, and I'm too short to get it down, but it's sure gorgeous. Some might say that I'm a loner, but I just call it being I am my heart's only owner Or at least I used to be Cause now a wildfire is raging deep inside And my heart strings are pulling like the tide Okay, we're checking out East Valley Antiques and then there, there's this antique store right next door. So I'm gonna walk in here first and see what they have. It looks like they have a lot of furniture, which I love furniture. So let's see what they got. Look at this cute little bedside table. I love these drawer pulls. It's teeny tiny though, but oh, it's so sweet. Okay, I love this piece of art with the trees. Oh, it's so pretty. And sailboat, $68. I really like that. These chairs are so cool. Set of four for $129. They have a super high back. Those are so cool. Also, this piece of furniture. This is the first time I've been into this store, and it's so, it's packed. But there's some good, good stuff in here. 185 for this tall dresser with a keyhole on each drawer. I also love this. They say antique V chair, $85. I love that. That's so pretty. It looks like um like a musical instrument. I'm like thinking of something. I, I've seen this shape before. I can't quite put my finger on it, but I love this chair. It's gorgeous. I love these drawers. I think that these would be really good to just put like art supplies in if I had the space for them. They're just like little tiny drawers. I don't see a price on them though. And gone without all kip within By these high walls I've been surrounded to her eyes only paper thin cause now a wildfire is raging deep inside 
inside And my heartstrings are pulling Like the turning of the tide And the match that drew the spark Was a single stolen kiss And if that ain't love such cool primitive stuff at this antique store. I mean, just tons, as you can see. I've shared this one before with you guys, but it's been a while, a, a while. Ooh, look at this chest, 175. Oh my gosh, this is good. This is gorgeous. Oh, I really, really love that. I really, really love that. Oh, that's really, really good. I actually love this mirror and think it would be so pretty painted black. It's $89. That's so pretty. I feel like I can always find good brass in like the 70s style. They have a ton here. I bet there's some good choice. Oh, is this like a cheese grater? That's kind of cool. I love this bamboo tray. That's so cool. $45. I like it. We are now at my favorite store <laughs> to go antique shopping locally. It's called Call It New, Call It Antique. I have found my best stuff here. I, I don't know. I just get really lucky here. I have gone to one, two, three, four, four antique stores today. They're all right next door to each other. And then one of the antique stores was actually having a flea market, but there just really wasn't anything there for me. And then now I'm at Call It New, Call It Antique. So it's been an antiquing day, but I've only found one thing so far. I found plenty of things, but I feel like right now I'm just in a space where I'm just kind of waiting for the house and not really wanting to purchase too much. It's been a little easier to say no to things because I know once we're in the house, I'm gonna be going crazy. I'm gonna be buying all kinds of things. So I'm just trying to hold back unless I really, really love it and I can't live without it. But I know that you will always find something you love, always. You know what I mean? So I don't know I figured I would just go in here there's a couple things that I am looking for so I'm gonna go in here see if they have it and I wanted to check in with you oh also it is Saturday which was mistake number one it is so busy out a lot of the footage that I got I'm not really talking so there is a lot of music like you that's I'm gonna have to put over the footage I do try to talk and give you guys my thoughts as I'm looking at things but today was a little busy so I apologize for that but I still want to share this stuff with you because it's still all so good okay let's go in here let's see what they got This wood easel for $36. Oh my gosh. I feel like I need it. I don't know. I think I love this. I don't know if it's vintage actually. But $36, that ain't bad. $15 for this vintage little tricycle. I love that. That's so sweet. I love this with like the little acorn top. This is so cute. $17. It's pewter. I do wish it was silver. I think I like silver a little more than pewter. Pewter is a little bit more dull, but I do really love the shape of that. Very beautiful. Does this lean more traditional? I feel like lately I've been more into traditional, or at least adding some traditional elements into my style. All right, this piece is sold, which makes me very jealous. <laughs> I love it so much. Oh, look how good this is. It has the most beautiful, rich wood tone in real life too. But someone got a beauty. 
I'm kind of into that lamp up there. Not like completely obsessed with the like roses on it, but the shape is very, very grand and beautiful. I love this clock. It's actually a box. It's super lightweight. It has a little handle on top with a little hook on the side. I don't know. I like this. I think it's really sweet. It's $28. I also love this ice bucket back here, but it's $50, so I'm going to pass on that, but it's such a beautiful shape. This vase is absolutely gorgeous, hand-painted hand in Holland. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. The price, $60, really beautiful though. I love this lamp. It's $450 though, but I would change the uh, shade. But the base is beautiful. This isn't normally something I gravitate towards, but for some reason I really love this little side table. This inlay, 1940s inlay side table, $45. I don't know, I kind of like it. I have shared this tool chest with you before, but this little table that it's sitting on it is 125. Let me know what you think about this because I love it. It says it has drawers on both sides. Oh, I like this. This actually would be a nice little coffee table as well. It's kind of tall, but you could either cut off the legs or like us, like outside, we have a little bit of a taller one to be able to eat on. Oh, it's good. This is one of my favorite little vendors here at Call It New. I don't know, I just feel like all of the traditional style in here, I just am really loving. So I always peek in here to see what's new or, and I've noticed that this vendor moves things around a lot. So it kind of, it could have already been here, but it kind of feels like it's new if that makes sense. So I'm just peeking one more time before I head out. I love that easel, but I think I'm gonna pass on it. Home from antique shopping, I only got two items this trip. I feel like with, I don't know if it's because I'm refining my style even more or there just wasn't a lot that I was attracted to this shopping trip. I, I okay, wait, I take that back. I did find a lot of furniture, but I cannot buy any more furniture right now. So I was looking for just other items, again, just to refine my style. And I, I just didn't find much. And I went to five antique stores. So this is what I did find. The first item, I actually shared this in a previous shop with me. It's this little basket. It was $3. Then I got in the car and I was thinking, this should be 50 cents. <laughs> like this, $3. But when I was there, I was like, oh, $2.97? Like, that's not that bad. But it's tiny. However, I need more little baskets on hand for different reasons, whether that is for a little gift, like a birthday gift, a hostess gift, you, whatever. It's really nice to have little baskets like this. It's also really nice for like styling or if you do a little tablescape, like if I did something for outside, I could put, you know, like some napkins in here or silverware or, you know, whatever. I could even clean this out, put some food in here. You can use these for so many different things. I've been on such a basket kick. I don't know why I can't get enough of them. I, I just love them. I really, really love them and finding them vintage. They just have so much more character and so much more going on with them. I love, I love, and there were a lot of baskets actually. I will say I found a lot of baskets that I definitely could have gone home with, but I have to be very, you know, specific and be careful because I, I can overdo it <laughs> and I don't want to overdo it. I don't have the room for that, but I just, I really like this one. And oh, even in like a little guest bedroom, like if you put some treats in here and you just put it at the end of their bed, cute. Love this. Love this so much. And then the other item I got, not that I needed another one of these either, but I got another lamp. I know, I know. But it was so different than anything I've really seen, and I say that so much, but that's the point. We wanna buy unique, different items to 
you know, elevate our home, make our home feel collected, make it feel different, and just really build a home. So when I saw this one, I just, I loved it so much. And I did have them check it with a light bulb. And at first it wasn't really turning on, but then she used a different outlet and it worked. So I was like, well, is that a good thing or a bad thing? So anyway, I got it, it was 25, per, or excuse me, it was 50% off, $25 originally. Um, but I just love it. It has like this marble base with like this brass column kind of piece right here. Glass, my brain. I've been shopping for so long, my brain isn't working. This glass little piece right here, and it says something, Dodge, uh, Boston, something Boston. Three, Tremont Street, Boston, I think is what it says. I don't know. EP Dodge. Don't know what that means, but I really, really, really love this. There is some uh, like tape sticky residue that I need to get off, but it's just very different. Like I said, I haven't seen anything like this. And I feel like the more that I study interiors and really try to refine my style and really try to find my voice in my own home, the more I notice and gravitate towards unique items even more than I ever did. So when you see something like this, definitely grab it, add it to your home. I will say lately I've been trying to be better about feeling like I'm paying a good price because I am noticing prices, like some things I'm like, okay, let's just keep looking because you might go to one booth and it might be $25. You might go to another booth and it's $5. You know, you just have to continue to look. I always say when you're trying to build your home and you're trying to, and if you're new to antique shopping, really trust your gut. If it seems kind of pricey, just wait. You will find it for a better price. Honestly, I have done this so many times. Sometimes I might have a little chip, but that's okay, I'll take the chip. But also, I think the other thing too is just being patient, being patient to build your home. And when you're antique shopping, like sometimes I go and buy absolutely nothing. But one thing I like to do is when I'm out antique shopping and I think about a lamp, I think, okay, if I were at a regular, you know, big box store, would I pay, well, this was 50% off, but let's say it wasn't. Let's say it was the $25. Would I pay $25 for this? Oh, heck yes, I would. So I'm gonna get it vintage. And honestly, you cannot get this at out at the stores, but I need to get a harp and a shade. So that is kind of what I'm thinking or what I'm gonna be looking for. I feel like, what about a black shade? Do you guys think that'd be really cool? Or should I do like a linen? I'm not sure. Anyway, that's all I got. I didn't find much, like I said, other than furniture. I did find some good furniture. There was this barrister cabinet. I don't think I got any footage of it because it was so busy in that room. I meant to go back and I don't think I ever did, but I found this gorgeous barrister cabinet, which I have one in my home right now. So I did not, I didn't need it, but this one was a bit taller, but it was like a thousand dollars. So not today we're not doing that today but i you know sometimes those are the pieces that you could you know save up give you i'm gonna start myself a little antique savings account because at this point by the time we get into the home you know if i see that special piece like i want to have the funds set aside you know what i mean anyway <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in a couple days with another. Bye. I would say we were good together.